Hey guys, it's Bosk and I'm here with Tails and today's video is all about ZK Snarks. So ZK Snarks was implemented into cryptocurrency on a large scale with Zcash. Zcash is you know, essentially the pioneer of bringing this tech into crypto. And with that, it's flooded over into some of the other popular cryptocurrencies. Today's video is gonna be Zencash centric because, well, I'm a big believer in Zencash. And if you're wondering about the whole lineage and what is Zencash forked off of, check out my What is Zencash video where I illustrate that basically Zencash is kind of like Bitcoin's grandson. So the goal of this video is to give you a brief understanding of ZK Snarks or Zero Knowledge Proof and how it applies to blockchain. I'm gonna cite a ton of sources in the description of this video below, which will be you know, some very in-depth reading, lighter reading, medium reading, and really just all the sources that help me to develop a clear understanding of what exactly this is. And again, I'm no expert, I'm just a guy involved in crypto, and I try to actively learn about the crypto that I invest in so I understand the tech behind it. And you know, as I've said in previous videos, I look for tech in the teams involved with these coins, not some kind of fancy name or all the hype that's surrounding it. It really comes down to is the team good and is the tech good? And you know, not to you know, beat a dead horse here, but that's why I'm a big fan of Zencash, not only because of their tech, but also because of their team. So for the first time in one of my videos, I'm actually gonna read off a prompt, basically, or some notes. I've never done that in any video, so just so you understand, all my prior videos and most of my videos following this will be you know, on the fly, freehand, just off the top of my head, because that's my style, that's what I like to do, and it's more fun. So with that said, let's talk about this, because this is a very technical subject. So zero knowledge proofs can be broken down into basically three concepts, completeness, soundness, and zero knowledge. So let's talk about completeness. If the statement is true, then an honest verifier can be convinced of it by an honest prover, okay? Soundness, if the prover is dishonest, they can't convince the verifier of the soundness of the statement by lying. And then ultimately, zero knowledge. If the statement is true, the verifier will have no idea what the statement actually is. This is very important to understand this concept and how it's going to apply to us on the blockchain. So look at this example. It's my favorite example of everything that I've found in all my research. It's called Alibaba's Cave. In this example, the prover, P, is saying to the verifier, B, that they know the password of the secret door at the back of the cave and they want to prove it to the verifier without actually telling them the password. So the summary of this example is that the prover can go left or right in the cave a hundred times, two hundred times, and make it through every time and reach you know, the starting point. This proves that he knows the password without telling the verifier the actual password. It's not dumb luck or anything like that. It wasn't just didn't happen one time, it didn't happen two times. It can happen, you know, basically unlimited, and it's gonna reach the same conclusion every single time. This is important because this makes it ultimately true. And the verifier does not know the password, but the prover has proven to him that the password is true, that he knows the password because he can do this over and over and over. So if we talk about this on the blockchain, this means that, say, on the Zencash blockchain, I can send you Zencash without revealing who I am, who you are, or the amount sent on the blockchain. This is huge. This brings the actual privacy aspect to this because when you're using a transparent address, Zencash and Zcash and whatever else are basically just operating on a Bitcoin style blockchain. To take it a step further, this is also exactly how Zencash can implement anonymous publishing. So, you know, I can send my article, you know, across the blockchain, you know, whatever platform they develop for it, and you'll never know who I am, where it came from, you know, how much Zen or whatever is used to transact that, and just that it's truly anonymous and private. That sums up my video for today. I'm not gonna go crazy in depth on the subject. Again, that's why I have all these sources below. This video is supposed to be, you know, almost like light reading or light viewing, not just totally bog your brain down. This stuff is, it's very intense. You know, it's not a simple concept in my opinion. And you know, it's gonna take some reading, rereading, looking at different examples until it really clicks for you. But again, I think it's so important to just truly learn about this tech. You know, this is why Zencash and Zcash are privacy coins because of ZK Snarks. Otherwise, it's just another coin. The entire mission of Zencash is built around privacy. So to understand the technology that makes that possible, 
I think is absolutely vital. So again, you know, that's my video. Here's Tails. She's the uh, dean of this college. We call this uh, Boss Coin University. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. We've got all kinds of cool content in the works, including the Mining Farm Shed Build video, guys. I know, and I'm going to cover electric in it. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but it's going to be awesome when I get it up. I'll see you guys next time.